time now. Well, you read the title right. Fixing to sell my old trailer. Might actually be sold by the time I post this, but I want to go over the whole rig. This is the trailer that got me rocking and rolling. Back in the day, you know, I haul a dump trailer and stuff around, technically needing, you know, bigger license. But when it came down to getting a gooseneck, I had the money in the bank, but I absolutely refused and would not allow myself to get one of these until I had my CDL. So the second I got my CDL, fired the phone, I called Texas Pride and ordered this trailer. Now it is about as cheap as you can get as far as what brand it is and options on here. A very, very affordable trailer. It is actually spec 30,000 pound rated gooseneck trailer. It's got the sticker, it's not derated, fet tax, all that been paid. So what it is, is just conventional old school iron, just heavy thick steel. I beam, I beam, I beam. Tire in a really rough spot to get to. Go down here, big old I beam down there with the extra brace jigger on the bottom, torque tube, you name it. It's got the it's not hutch suspension, it's just bare bone slider, slipper, whatever you call it, normal suspension under there, but it does have two 15K axles. I ran this trailer for two years. It's a 2017 and in 2019 bought my Diamond C. This thing's probably got less than mileage wise, five to 7,000 miles on it at most. And what I'm gonna be working on today is the ramps. But I'm gonna talk about any of the issues I had with it as far as structure wise, like this thing has actually handled everything I've thrown at it. Um, it's not a Diamond C and this thing actually rides better than Diamond C, which is weird. Probably has something to do with not having hutch suspension, but I did have a bunch of issues with the uh, seals failing on the axles. Ended up putting grease in both of those. Replaced the rear axle under warranty. So brand new axle back there. The other axle is technically fine. It just have the brake pads are actually coming apart, but they're like, screw it, Sam, we're just gonna send you the whole thing. Swap that out, and it's been honestly working great ever since. Pine deck, I'm gonna have to screw down a couple of these boards. Back here, I added these extenders so that it actually had some, you know, proper leverage so you can put a block right there so it doesn't make your trailer do a wheelie. But today, one thing that I need to work on is I like to cut out a couple of these pieces of angle iron and resupport this. If you're just loading, you know, skid steers and stuff like that, these ramps do just fine. But that dang prime tech weighs so much of the steel grousers. These are the ones of concern right off the kick. So we'll go ahead and cut those suckers out. And I'm just going to put new ones in. Probably end up reinforcing that just a little bit. I thought about putting another rib over here. But honestly, I don't know if the next guy that buys this is going to have a prime. If he doesn't, he shouldn't have an issue. But you can see that side just really caved in. Probably end up having to deal with several over there. Wow, she's seen some. That left ramp. Ouchie. Thank God for that bad boy. A lot of dollars, but saving my life right now. New blade for the saws though, because it seems to butter right through those. And then we gotta cut the centers. So boom boom boom. Burning sun. Burning sun. It's burning me. Burning daylight. Man, it's October. Why is it 95?
So this spot right here, main hit of the tracks, all the front of the weight is gonna hit right on that front sprocket. All the single grousers and all that push in. It's not distributed through the rest of the machine. The rest will be on the back, so it's got two points of contact rather than 10 feet worth. So this spot right here takes a lot of heat. Where's my hammer? There it is. Ran away again. You don't need your left hand, apparently. Give her a nice line right here, though. Yep, got greedy with that one. Lost the disc. Come on, why doesn't the tool fit? I only have one grinder with two twins. How does it not? What? I gotta get the freaking. Where's the other hand? There we go. Water, quick. Gonna use my old disc, see if we get any more. Get one more slice out of it. I was able to separate those a little bit. Hammer in there to... Drove me a couple punches in there. Well, there's your answer right there, ladies and gentlemen. If it doesn't go, get a bigger hammer. Four pounder versus ten. Whew. Nice. Now we got, I'm probably yelling. We got options. Do we just put a new stick in there? Or do we try to straighten those out and save money? You know what? We straightened two, three out on the other side. I think we can give up a couple sticks of this stuff. And just put a freshie in there. Well, this is the lower one. It's pretty bad. This is the next one up. We might be able to get a little something out of this. Let's look on camera for you guys. Pretty bad. <laughs> Thomasaurus came down to show me how it's done. Got the welder turned up to 
you know, hurt the power grid level. Go slower and a little bit wider. A little bit wider? Yeah. That's the last section that needs welded. Hit everything. Eh, that spot could use us, but we ain't, you know. Let's be real, this is another wear item. It needs maintenance every once in a while. But, man, that is a drastic, drastic improvement. Check out, if you look close over there, you see attempt of, you know, let's straighten out some stuff with a tractor and a couple jacks. Didn't happen. Not one bit. Also, the, the 60 showed up for charger, so I get to put that back in there and put my car back down. That'll be on the other channel. You got to check out Samson Andrew doing all the hot rod stuff on there because uh, I needed my own channel for that kind of thing. There's all the trailer stuff, diesel content. 66 is getting built on another channel. This is definitely going to be one of my prize trucks. Check out this metal work I did uh, last weekend. Bed extension. Because obviously it's sitting on a 97 12 valve frame. But anyway, I'll show you guys this here in a second. Somebody parked right there. Anyway, I think we're all about done right here. Let Tom do a little bit of welding here and there. For the most part, a million times better. Honestly, I think we might have made it just a little bit heavier, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. I did actually make a dip, like another set of ramps and completely got rid of the mega ramps completely. And uh, I ended up going back to these because they were narrow, kind of a little rough. Look like I welded those up before, but take a look. Check her here. Normally the rear axle is the one that takes all the heat, but still got tons of tread. Front one looks like a brand new tire. Got valve stem extenders on the center so you can check the tire pressures real quick. You don't have to spend six weeks trying to get in there. Let's see how heavy they are. Ah, my back. Ah, damn. <laughs> like those Diamond C ones. Those things are so light. These are not like those at all. Actually, quite opposite of it. Eh, we'll just go ahead and leave that bent. I straight the other one a little bit. Check out a little weld. <laughs> Don't look at that one down there. I had, to, I had to fill that gap. I put a big chunk in there. So let's get this thing down. So you shake your Yahoo up. Looks like that weld broke. A couple others here. These turned out great. That was a must for this particular trailer. I'll admit, like, I had a lot of issues with this thing. There's a lot of design flaws, but I think I've kind of addressed a lot of them. She's just a heavy, heavy boat anchor. Be straight up honest with you. For those of you guys wondering, it's 20 plus technically 6 with that add on, but 20 plus 5. So let's get this up. This side turned out pretty slick. I was able to straighten this one out. Had to cut a spot in it so I could fit that there. But one new piece here because that's all they had at the middle yard unfortunate but straighten those through straighten two added that piece let's see if this one will break your back Ugh. 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 I thought I had more oh right there got to press that down and I'm gonna weld that back together and then this is done Sound like somebody driving by just ran into the ditch and left part of their vehicle there. Clamp it down. Oh, don't walk off. Stay on the diamond plate. Oh, finally. See if my welds held. I mean, they were cold enough. They set stuff on fire that was within the vicinity of it. <laughs> Guess that means they were hot. Been looking in the idea of a different welder. Do a little bit more finesseful stuff. But I'll tell you what, this little unit. If you're welding thick stuff, she likes it. Thin stuff could use a little bit more finesse. Man shaped up good I think I'm gonna get out the rattle can and spray paint some of this dirt just to make it give that loss oh gotta fix some body dents hang on hammer and dolly
Gonna use the uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two times. Whatever that means. Stuff dries fast, maybe that's it. Also bonds to plastic. Guaranteed to work on this project and probably just as good as the paint that was on this trailer when I bought it. Oh yeah, get them welds are hot. That's poor man's powder coat right there. We need to uh, turn the portal cool back on so we can breathe. Somebody left their truck in the way. And somebody left their tractor in the way. You don't miss it? Somebody left a bush and everything's in the way. Oh, we had tons of room. <laughs> Just don't hit that, that damn tractor. And now that I got everything on the checklist taken care of, all the stuff that needed to be done to it, and the stuff I wanted to just so it was a little bit of peace of mind for when I sell it. I don't have to worry about the next owner having to deal with any of the little headaches, especially the ramps. Yeah, they're beat up. They're going to get beat up again. But I didn't want to have to, you know, flip those up and be like, oh, those are mangled. Because that's just the nature of the beast. But she's all taken care of. I did go through this thing a little while back to make sure everything was ready to rock and roll. No issues. And, I mean, this thing's honestly got low miles. Sad to see it go because this is, you know, what started it all. I've always wanted one of these trailers just like this. But the new Diamond C40K is coming soon, so I, you know, I need to open up the parking spot, to be honest with you. So I'll show you a couple things. I, I bought this thing on a budget, keep in mind. So things like this, I added this. Every little thing, pretty much, I'm going to show you, I added. The vertical uprights, in case your load's too long and you can't flip down the ramps, you know, you got a thing for them. Toolbox. This thing been sitting around my dad's house probably since before I was born. Snag that up, a couple carriage bolts, hold it on there. Two inch receiver ball for your winch. Nice, simple install. Very functional, practical, and it's held up to a lot of stuff and hasn't bent nothing, so you're good to go there. Chain rack, I just notched the C channel. Toolbox up there, got a toolbox down there. Keep the ratchets in there or your tie down, binders, all that. Now, here's the thing about, you buy a trailer that's rated for more than 26,000 pounds, you're subject to a federal tax, which is an additional 12% over your sales tax. So it's a real mother effort. But I've already paid for that. So a 30,000 pound rated trailer, boom, boom. These things are going, the stickered at 21, 22,000 bucks right now, according to the Texas Pride website. And, you know, I don't know what their lead wait time, but Diamond C, you definitely gotta wait to get anything. And so I'm gonna ask this uh, about 15,000 bucks. Keep in mind all those, the extra 12% has already been paid. It's not something that carries to the next owner, you know, every time you try to transfer. It's not like that. It's just the first owner has to pay it. It's already been taken care of, but man, I think she's ready to go. I think she'd be a good trailer for somebody just starting out because I'll tell you what, that new trailer from Diamond C, MSRP on that mofo man things have gone up but I pretty much checked every item on the boxes list of additional options she's gonna be a sweet trailer to basically replace this one it's gonna take a spark spot anyway but anyway email in the description below if you guys are interested it might have already been sold I got a couple bites on it already and it wasn't even up on the market but we'll see you guys in the next one like the video comment below you got any concerns with this old girl she's handled everything i've thrown at it and i've hauled prime text loads of times loads of times and those things are heavy girls but anyway we'll see you guys thanks for watching the old cowboy trailer dang it we'll just have to get the lean mean gangster trailer from diamond c to replace it see you guys later